Welcome to Amsterdam. Home to more than 160 beautiful canals, about 1.3 bikes for every person, and more than 500 of our ServiceNow colleagues. We rolled into the office and met some new faces, <laughs> learned some new things. We even offer Dutch classes, so if you like. And Where? Here. In the office? Yeah, we do. Dutch lessons in the office? Yeah. And tried out a new way of working. I can't imagine doing this for very long, but it's fun <laughs> for the video. What's your name? My name is Tarni. Tarni? Yes. And where are you from originally? Here? I'm Italian. Italian? Yes. Uh, outside of work, what do you love to do? Cycling. You're cycling. Yes. Uh, we actually cycling from this office to our London office uh, in July. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Yeah. We go here to Dunkirk. Okay. We take the ferry. A ferry, I see. And uh, once uh, we cross to Dover, we go to London. It's okay. like 100 miles a day we're going to be cycling. That's a lot. Is that a lot? Mm, it's not. A, it depends how much you train. You okay. For, for me, that won't be possible. So that's yeah, a lot. I, know, I, see we, I need to have a. I need to have a bigger mindset. No, come dream, on. Dream, dream big. Dream big. <laughs> dream okay. big. You know when you meet someone who's a really good vibe and you think, wow, I hope we can hang out some more. And then that person invites you to a barbecue the next day. Yes. Some folks from the office were getting their families together to enjoy some choice cuts and camaraderie. So after three and a half hours, Tarni has finally produced the bruschetta. It better be good. And guess what? It really was good. So my name is William. I've been in service now for about three years now. Three years? I started as an intern. I was working uh, as a supporting engineer. Uh, but I always had an eye on a, on a different role, a uh, software engineer. Uh, that's the role I have now. And uh, Amsterdam was the only place I found where they had this position. And I started talking to people, I made some connections, and yeah. Everything worked out for good. So, And as I said before, that's my dream job. So I'm really, really happy, really proud. It's your dream that. job? Yes, yes. What a great crew. There's nothing quite like the international language of grilling out on a sunny day. And now it's time to meet our colleague, Lindy Liu. Looks like she's hard at work, so of course, I had to go into mischief mode. <laughs> In spite of my shenanigans, Lindy Liu graciously invited us to meet her family and share a meal together. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, mom. What are you What are you doing? I was taking. I was laying down meditating. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm in Amsterdam, and I'm. This is my colleague, Lindy Lou. Hello, I'm Lindy Lou from Amsterdam. I'm fine. Hello. How are you? This is. Good. This is her future son-in-law, Buddy. Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And her daughter, Jacqueline. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. And son, Scott. Hi. And husband, Hello. DJ. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. And <laughs> our, our cameraman. You can come in closer, sir. That's... We call it a BB with R, Bruine Bonen with rice, mm -hmm. brown beans with rice. Uh -huh. It's a very simple but very healthy dish. Yeah. And um, so that's that's the background. It's really typically a Suriname dish, uh, but it's not something we normally would cook for guests. Yeah, well, I'm excited because anytime <laughs> beans and rice come together, it's a good meal for me. But make one connection for me. So you were born? I was born in the Netherlands and then I moved to Suriname. At I what was, age? At, um, when I was zero. When you were, yeah, excuse I, me? Yeah, of one. When you were zero? One. Okay. Well, yeah, zero. Yeah, when I was born. So, so you were born and months. your parents took you to Suriname. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's like it's a dish I learned it from, from my mom. So you cooked tonight? Yeah. Because yeah. they were busy and she's like, oh, I need somebody to cook something. Okay. okay. Is that And um, yeah, it's super it's easy. Keep on talking. Okay. Yeah. I start. Now, Guys, everybody's like, like, please, can we eat? <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Uh, and scene, okay. cut. Scott is a man of many talents. On top of his solid cooking skills, he's a talented dancer, and Cameron convinced him to show us some moves. Yeah. Oh yeah! 
We were riding high on the great meal and conversation, but we had to rest up for the next day's adventure. No trip to Amsterdam is complete without spending some time on the canals. And lucky for us, Lindy Lou pulled together some folks from the team for an afternoon on the water. Let me say thank you very, very much to this woman here for bringing us together, for setting this up to friendship and to Rosé. <laughs> As we soaked in the sights and savor the Rosé, the conversation turned to the philosophical and the things that we value most in life. I, I think it's just being happy. Like days like this, it's just meaning in life. Just uh, feel relaxed. Together with uh, Lucy, which is, well, perfect, right? I think challenge is also one of them. Being challenged brings me a lot of positive energy. I think we're not here for ourselves, but to help others in, in some sort of way. What gives me real meaning in life is love and to be loved. So my kids, my friends, my husband, my dogs. To me, and we have a lot of fun. I just enjoy and embrace and cherish the moment with all the love around me. Seeing this beautiful city through the hospitality of our colleagues was a real gift. A huge thank you to all of our colleagues in Amsterdam who shared their city with us.